Right, great question, Shreyas. I, I really want to tell you all about retargeting, and um, I think that that's a perfect time you put across that question. Uh, remarketing has been being used for uh, by, by the travel industry over quite a while, in fact, especially the airline industry. Let's say, for example, um, let's do this as a practice, in fact. Let's, let's try Jet Airways, because I know they heavily do retargeting. And so Jet Airways, for example, uh, when it comes to remarketing, remarketing is basically, I mean, uh, I believe all of us over here know what exactly remarketing is, but if you don't, let me tell you what remarketing is. Remarketing is basically um, uh, showing your ads to users who have probably visited your websites. These could be dynamic, and dynamic always works the best, and especially in the travel industry. Uh, let me let me just give this a try. Okay, so let's let's go in from uh, from Bahrain. If you go into the website and you, you book in a flight from here, I mean you don't you just have to fill in the details over here, like Bahrain to Dubai. Let's say for example. Okay. And uh, once I've done this, and if I really haven't made a call, uh, if I haven't gone with completing the cycle of booking the ticket, I would be followed by Jet Airways for the next entire week. I mean I, I know this wasn't something that I was supposed to do right now, but I had to do it, you know, just just so you know what exactly remarketing is. I'm not quite sure if we would be able to see the ads right away, but let's let's give it a try. Uh, Bahrain to Dubai, okay, unfortunately there aren't any flights available. Okay, I, I still believe that, okay, so when it comes to remarketing, there are a couple of ways that you can do it. There are static ads, which means the same ad is shown to everyone who has previously visited your website. The second part would be dynamic ads. These are, these would be ways where your ads are customized or tailored for a specific user. So let's say, Shreyas, for you, for example, if you search on a flight from Bahrain to London, maybe on uh, Emirates, uh, you would see that if you don't continue with the booking and if you don't complete the cycle of booking the ticket, you would see that they would keep following you with these dynamic ads saying Bahrain to London, starting from only INR, whatever the price is. And this would be something that is definitely picking up. And when we talk about remarketing, I usually when when I have to if if I had to pick up uh, if I had to set up a remarketing campaign for a client of mine, I would not only really stick to Google's remarketing platform because I would look at something that's that's way ahead. We have AdRoll, for example. I don't know if many of you have heard about AdRoll, but AdRoll is something which I always go with because you're basically following the user throughout the internet not only restricting through the Google network, but you're also going beyond to Facebook and Twitter. So uh, one of the very good examples, I know this isn't travel industry, but I can, you, if you remember one of the first websites that I showed you for, for motorcycle products, which you can order online, Revzilla. These guys, oh, I tell you, the, the way they, they go ahead with the remarketing is, is just amazing. I mean, it would actually amaze you as to you look at a particular helmet and the exact same helmet follows you through your Twitter, your Facebook, everywhere you go, along with the price. So that is something, remarketing is something which has to be done, but I wouldn't say it has to be recommended. I mean, it has to be restricted to using it through only the Google platform. I hope, Shrez, um, I hope uh, that that actually clears out your idea about remarketing. Right, so in, in terms of retargeting or remarketing, do we have uh, any other questions? I would say absolutely, Shreyas. Uh, I normally, I personally recommend AdRoll. The reason being through AdRoll, you're reaching even the Google network along with a couple of other networks. So um, AdRoll, let's, let's go to AdRoll actually. AdRoll is something uh, which which caters to even the Google network. At the same time, you're reaching users on the social media platforms as well. And now I know that I've visited this website, and they're going to keep uh, showing me uh, ads everywhere as to how AdRoll works and things like that. But AdRoll is definitely, I mean, I would say AdRoll any day over Google remarked. But again, depends on your budget. So if you're on a very restricted budget, it's better not to go for AdRoll and stick to Google's own remarketing platform because AdRoll really requires a good a good uh, budget because you're you're reaching out to a lot more users through various platforms. So it always depends on the size of your budget.
Sure, so I hope that clears out your question.